is what does it mean to be the best? To be the best as a whole is just obviously the best version of yourself and, and to be able to help others. And that's what we're in this industry to be able to do is, is help others to be able to achieve whatever goal it is in, in the sport of, you know, baseball or softball, you know, just allowing these younger, younger kids, as I would say, um, a chance and an opportunity to be able to better themselves um, as people. There's a cap, there's a time when, when things are done and hopefully we can be able to help these people out and these young kids out nowadays be the best who they are and, and, and find out who they are. And that's through what we do as, as coaches and mentors and in, in the sport that we're in. Can you give us an example of a core value that you have learned from the game that helps you in life to become the best person? I'll laugh that baseball and softball and a lot of sports teach you how to be able to be a um, a good teammate, how to be able to work hard and what that means, how to be able to go every day to be able to get yourself better than whatever it is, whether it be through sports or whether it be through, you know, everyday nine to five jobs. It's just, you've got to understand how to be able to work, what that means, how to be able to deal with failure, you know, trying to be able to do the right thing every day, grind, battle, learn from mistakes. I mean, in softball, there's so many negatives, so many things that go wrong. How do you deal with that? And I think that's mo one of the most important things we learn in life. Uh, what would you say your why is? So, so why do you do what you do? Oh, the, the look on these kids' faces when they actually get it or they see some progress or they, they maybe get to the ultimate goal for whatever that is, whether it be a win a championship, whether it be make a team, whether it be, you know, be impactful that game. It, it's in the process in which we teach these kids to be able to work hard and going through the grinds and ups and downs. And when they see something positive from that and the look on their faces, that that's the why for me that I've, I've, I've gotten from is, is the ones that didn't make it to that highest level, but they're really successful in whatever jobs they're doing now. Those relationships I still keep. And that's the why for me. I get excited to be able to help anybody else and knowing they're, they're learning and they look back and going, you know what? Kind of made sense what he said and didn't really understand at that point. So that, that's the why. Is there one nugget from any one of them that you learned from and like it gave you that aha moment like wow like that you started to implement in your life and has helped you become better? Well like I said I'm fortunate to be around to be the best and I've seen a lot of really good speakers there. I'm really looking forward to to listening to she's a grinder she's everything that we just got done talking about you know how you are and how you build relationships and how she's she's done it and been so, so successful being consistent with that is what advice would you give athletes on how to best succeed in their sport and in life go best advice i really think and one of the biggest things for me is being open to listen and and being real to yourself i think that's one of the biggest thing is that there's so many levels of competition where the, the athlete isn't real to themselves they don't identify really who they are. They don't identify with what they need to do. There's always either a facade or faking or, or making excuses. I think if they can be open and listen and um, ask questions and, and, and understand, you know what, I, I did something wrong. What do I need to do better? And being real to themselves, I think it's so important. And, um, and when the listening part, I think from the coach's standpoint, we need to do a better job of listening to the players and communicating to them because so many people get set in their own ways and it's it's like a tunnel vision type of so I ramble on a bunch I gave you a lot of different stuff but ultimately I'm you know hopefully be able to get these kids to be able to open up their brains and understand how to be able to learn listen and, and be able to move forward and stay positive with it. how would you um inspire you know coaches travel heads of organizations to invite the parents um of the players they serve so that everyone can grow together uh, knowing that it is a process that grows over time what is your message to them be real i mean i just got done saying it just be real i mean i, I try to tell things how it was and, and when you as in, in a platform fortunate to where i can be able to speak and have a little bit of experience to be able to, to convey people out but just being real and tell them that i screwed up i screwed up a bunch of times we all do um but being pretty transparent about that really opens their mind and their hearts and understanding and their ears to say, you know what? He screwed up. Well, I screwed up before or I messed up. And what do I need to do now and how I learned from it? And I think it's really important that people can relate to that. And that's why it allows that open conversation so people can listen and say, you know what? I did this and sit back and listen and to themselves and, and be able to identify what they've done to where they can be able to move forward. Be the best is, is such a great venue. 
um, so many really, really good speakers. I, I think the the sidebars and going around other people, um, grabbing something to eat or just kind of hanging out and talking to different groups, that, that that's where we can be able to generate more conversations, not just from being a speaker there. So I think just the whole venue and being around that North Carolina area and, and, and excited to be able to go back there. And I think that state and that area can be able to be a little bit more pushed to, to this type of thing. And I think it's going to be really awesome for everybody, not just, you know, whatever baseball or softball sport. So I'm looking forward to it and, and be able to see everybody out there. <laughs>